Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a little early morning crafting again. And before we get started, I want to say hi and hugs to Leslie, Helena or Helena. I'm not sure how she pronounces it, but, uh, and Deborah and Renee. So thank you so much for watching my videos and for commenting and everything. Today we're gonna to do a little project. Um, this is, uh, we are just going to decorate some sacks and uh, make some sack pockets. So these are just little paper bags that um, I've gotten at Hobby Lobby. I think they're maybe meant for treat bags or something because they're in the party section. But um, they are just like little, little lunch bags. So, you know, you could really... You could really use a larger bag for this. You, you you could make your own bag. You could use a bag that doesn't have this flip, but fold it up and make your own, whatever. So um, I haven't made any in a long time. I, uh, this is, these are the last ones I made. And um, it's, it's just so funny. Let's see. Um, of course I glued the tag in. Anyway, there's a tag there. So you can, you, there's a pocket there. And then of course you can put things in the top. So it's funny how your styles change. I've had these in my drawer for a long time, which I will totally use these. I mean, I think they're cute, but um, I'm going to, I'm going to make some, I'm going to make some more. And I thought I'd kind of go through some of the things that I thought we could use here. Now I am going to use, I'm, I'm working on this journal. So I'm going to use some of Artie Mays's collage papers for these and, um, and, and go with that. But then there's other things you could do with these. Like, um, so I grabbed out a bunch of stuff here. Uh, I was thinking you could, you could use some text, some book page, this is scrapbook paper, scrapbook paper works. I think I'll make one with this children's book because I think that would be a cute farm one. Um, this is some coffee dyed paper. This is some thin paper that I had that I thought would make a pretty one. Here's some of the uh, mulberry paper or handmade paper. Uh, this is some stationery stationary I thought that would make a cute one this is another one of Artie Mays's um one of her digitals and it's kind of a red I thought that'd be fun I thought I'd just cover one maybe with book page and then this is some of the paper that I got in a recent happy mail that I thought might be kind of a cool background so anyway I thought we'd play today with some bags I just thought that would be fun. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to grab I'm going to see what see what little pieces I have. This is torn. What else do I have? I have these pieces. Um That one's one of my Oh, I have the I have the red. I have that. So I think I'll use, I think I'll use this one. And to cover this, this, this sack is, it's a little over, it's about three and a quarter, three and a quarter that way. And then of course we want to come down into the pocket a little bit. So I'd say three and a quarter by five will work pretty well with this. So, um, so let's see what we want to do. What do we want to do? I kind of like this area. Of course I do, right in the middle, right there. But I do think that's what I'm going to do. So it doesn't matter if this is straight. So we can just cut this off with regular scissors. So I'm up at the crack of dawn yet again because I have... Um, I'm going over, you know, I don't know if you guys remember me um, selling on my Etsy. I've, I've sold some vintage magazines and I've talked about how they're for um, a little neighbor friend. And she was actually a friend of my parents. 
and um she's she's getting older and um i i actually think at this point maybe they're thinking about having her leave her home and maybe go maybe maybe do a a different kind of living situation um so anyway i'm going over to her house because she called me and said she had some things she thought i might be interested in <laughs> so she knows i i love vintage things so i'm thinking maybe it's something like that okay i think i'm gonna go right about there and the what I would do on the ones that I made previously is I would just um, cut them on the cutter, you know. But, you know, your your styles and how you do things kind of change sometimes. So that's going to cover that nicely, like that. I was kind of wondering about putting that on there. That might be fun, huh? yeah let's do that um yeah so anyway i wanted to get my video done early and then get my shower and have breakfast and stuff and then um and then go see her so and i have to go to the post office so you know just those just those kind of things today my husband, ooh, this is fun. My husband is going to Bozeman to get our grand puppy. Um, this is Alfie. You know Alfie. I've introduced Alfie before. And um, his family is going to Seattle. He's Addie's dog. Now you all know Addie, too. And, um, and they are going to Seattle for, uh, the girls have a volleyball game. A volleyball game so or volleyball tournament so yeah so that's how I'm gonna cover it and then I feel like that's a little bit long I'm just gonna tear that a little bit probably wasn't straight knowing me probably wasn't straight there I kind of like that anyways it's a little less perfect so let's do a little over here <laughs> And they'll probably be inking to be done. But I wanted to get some bases done. And then maybe um, we can decorate a couple fully. But I wanted to kind of get a few bases done. And then once we get them decorated how we want, we just glue the sides of the flap here or the, the bottom part of the sack. And ta-da, we have a... we have a pocket. So stick that down there. Kind of line that up a bit. Yep, not yep, not straight. <laughs> Cause that's how I tear. Not straight. Let's try that one more time. Let's just kind of try and line that side up and go from there. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty good. You can always you can always trim it too. Um, yeah. So anyway, Alfie is coming to stay with us for a few days over this weekend, so that'll be fun. And you guys, I had. So there's that one. There's just the base. So we're just gonna do some bases real fast, and um, let's try let's try book page because I would like to have a bunch of these made. I think is what I would like to have happen. Um, what was I gonna tell you? I forgot. Lost my train of thought completely. Of course, it is early. I, I can be forgiven because it's early. Well, and it's early and I had one of those nights where I didn't go to sleep until like, until like, uh, I don't know, 2.30 in the morning. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know why that happens some days. Well, I had a lot on my mind. Oh yeah, that brings me back to my thought that I had that I was going to tell you is that... <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you guys, I don't know what to do with me, but um, I had thought, you know, I have this retreat coming up, right? Well, I thought it was like, you know, the rest of this week and then another week before the retreat. No, no, it's next week. <laughs> So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I have to, um, I have to think about what I'm going to pack and all that kind of stuff. I have to think about getting the groceries that I need for the ones that everyone will partake in. And then the ones that, um, the ones everybody will have, the ones that I need for the dinner that I'm making. I'm making dinner the first night that we're there. Hi, yo, yo. So anyway, <laughs> I don't have nearly as much. I was just kind of moseying along with my week, just not too worried about anything. And then I'm like, egad. Oh no. So anyway, um, but I am planning, one of my videos I'm going to do is of what I pack. Um, so I think that that'll be a fun video for everybody, I think. Um, I did it, a, not, I don't know if it was last year. It might have been the year before. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what projects I'm planning on doing and, and what I'm going to take to do those projects. Well... And that's the other thing I was thinking about is what am I going to do? So here's the thing. Let's talk about this. I have the circus journals to finish. And you guys, I just have not been motivated to do them. And they're going to be cute. I mean, I have these darling vintage books. There's another one. This is the book page one. So there we go. That's another one. Um... Let's do this one. I kind of am excited to, to do this guy. Um, anyway, so yeah. Um, I It's kind of like I feel like that's what I should do. But it's my retreat. I don't want to do what I should do. I want to do what I want to do. <laughs> As my grandson used to say when he was little, no, my wanna. No, my wanna work on this circus journals. <laughs> so I'm hoping y'all are supporting me in that because I think I'm just going to. Um, I think I'm not going to. I think I'm going to. Let's see. I want to tear this so I have that. Like this. Um. Yeah, I just, I want to work on what I want to work on. And I'm sure you would agree that that's okay. Okay, I'm going to tear this a bit on the bottom because there's a bit too much. Okay, so, and this will be a fun bit for my bit box. Um, I also want to go to my bit box and use some of those if we have time. Right? Okay. Um, so anyway, so last night I was thinking, well, you should do, you should, you should, you should, you should. So I shouldn't all over myself. You should do your circus journals. Do you want to do your jur circus journals? No. So I think ultimately I'm not going to do my circus journals. I just, I, I need to, I need to just get them done here at home and the plus to doing the circus journals would be I wouldn't have to take a whole ton of stuff because I could just take my project box that has the circus journals in it, right? And then, um, and just use that stuff. But, oh, I just, I don't know. It's just not calling to me. It's just not. So, um... I will tell you what's kind of fun at a retreat because you have such concentrated time is like I like last 
time I went to the retreat house was last fall and I made like what did I make like six or something okay there's another base um let's do let's do the farm one I think that would be kind of fun um uh anyway Um, I made like, I made like six Traveler's Notebooks, I think. Maybe nine. I, I might have done nine. That's why I'm hesitating. I, I feel like I did six of one and then three Christmas ones or something. Anyway, um, let's just kind of go like that. I just want to see where I want this. Actually, I could go three and a quarter, but it's hard for me to. Yep, right there. Okay. Okay. Um, anyway, where was I saying? Yeah, nine Traveler's Notebooks, and I got started on, I think I did five Golden Book journals. So, I had quite the productive, quite the productive little... Uh, time there and ooh let's let's use the text on the bottom let's not throw that away so anyways it's a good time to to do like a bunch of journals if you are so inclined so anyways I don't know I haven't decided and I have an idea for a video series so that was going through my head it's like oh my gosh Gail go to sleep but I couldn't <laughs> but in the end I couldn't quite sure if I could tear that but yep got it uh yeah so anyway that's what was keeping me awake was just thinking oh my gosh it's time for the retreat I don't know what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna make so it it will come to me and then I'll just get those I always like to take um I do like to take my box of ephemera because um, if I'm making journals, stopping and just doing some ephemera is always kind of a good break because, you know, I mean, you're crafting all day, every day for, let's see, what are we there? Uh, two half days, the day we get there, the day we leave, and three days in between. So, yeah. Yep, so anyways. Oh, that's cute. That's going to be fun in a farm journal, isn't it? Okay. So let's do, I want to do these two pieces of paper and then we'll, we might move on. Um, cause I really... Okay, that has the stationary whatever there. So I don't like that. That might be nice. Pull that over a little bit. If I, theoretically, if I pull it over and I rip it right there, theoretically, it should be good. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then about right about here. Okay, so that's that. That's kind of fun, just like that, isn't it? Leaves that whole pace. Okay. Um, yeah. So Anyway, I was, I was a bundle of indecision last night 
oh gosh, I just got a big old glob of glue there. Not sure how that happened. But um, anyway, it was just kind of, it just kind of was one of those nights. I wonder if I can scoop that up. Yes. To be able to smooth that out a little. <laughs> um, and it's like as things are going through my head, I'm like, I'm like, stop, stop, Gail, just go to sleep. So you know what I finally had to do? I got up, and this is this is my. This is my thing I do sometimes to go to sleep. It's so dumb, but it gets my mind off whatever it is that's keeping me awake. That's fun. We can do some fun things with that. Um, is I, I look at the real estate. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I go online to this one local realtor that has a really good a really good website and and I look at houses <laughs> and we aren't planning on moving but I don't know I'm just kind of a I'm kind of a real estate stalker it's weird I know one of my many quirks but um yeah, last night I was I was just looking and and so I look and I I look at the houses and I go, "Ooh, that would make a nice craft room." Ooh, that would make a nice craft room. <laughs> Cuz the only thing I don't like about my house is that my craft room is so small. <laughs> That's the only thing. So, yeah. Okay. You get the idea, right? <laughs> On these little guys. Uh, completely goobered up my glue somehow. Um, and then what I want to do is get my bit box. I have a lot of digital papers in there from doing other collage projects and I thought this would be a nice way to use some get some bases done and then we'll decorate a few however many we have time for for sure I want to decorate the one that's going to go in the journal we're working on right now but this is what I do with the ephemera um, at the retreat is I just I just make a bunch and then I've got it for my ephemera box and it's just it's lovely to be ahead on ephemera. It's one of the things that makes me happy. Ooh, that's cool. I really like that one. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm going to move these papers. And I can get those put back where they go at some point. Let's see. I'll set them up here on top of another project. <laughs> Okay, I wanted to get my bit box, this box, you know this box, and let's, let's make room for it, first of all, over here, put that down there, get this over here, move my lid, my water, okay, so I am pretty sure, see what I felt like I had, I feel like I had some pieces oh and that was the other thing I thought would be fun okay I'm 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 doing a squirrel what I do with that is it down here yes you know how I was collaging with stuff where is that well I definitely have some pieces here but where is my McCall's. Remember my... Oh, I don't know what I did with it. Hmm. Okay. Well, here it is. <laughs> I put it where it belongs. Doggone it. I don't love it when I do that because I can move this journal there. Okay. 
Um, oh, I had a couple of ideas. So I was thinking it would be fun to cover one with this, right? Be really cute. Oh, this is so fragile. Needs to be adhered to something because it's so fragile. Okay, look at this. So I'm kind of hoping, my little friend that I'm going to see, I'm kind of hoping she had a bunch of vintage patterns. And so I'm hoping that that's one of the things she was thinking that I might be interested in because I would. I would. Yeah, I think we can go right down that line, actually. And this is going to tear super easy. Put that back where I got it. Okay. Um, and then what I'm thinking is I want those girls. I want those girls at the top. Um. Anyway, wouldn't that be fun if she wanted to get rid of the? I think, I think she's just clearing out because she's gonna she's gonna move on. I think, but um, but yeah. So I will have to share with you guys in tomorrow's video <laughs> what she what she had in mind and if it was anything or if I came home empty-handed or. <laughs> what I still have more of her magazines to sell and um so I go ahead I sell them on Etsy and then give her give her the money these ones though I might the ones I have left I might have to have a little profit for myself because they're going to take special envelopes because they're the big ones you know they're big like, oh, I don't know what they are, Vogue or something. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot get the bits off of my hands. <laughs> there comes a point when it's like, okay, time to clean up. Those little bits were just sticking to me. Okay. Okay, so I've yet to go into my bit box. <laughs> I'm just finding other stuff. Oh. But I thought this would be fun. So anyway, it gives you some ideas for some um, kind of fun backgrounds for these. I'm gonna, I don't really need to set aside yet, but I don't want it to stick at all because it's so fragile. It's just going to fall apart so the other thing was is she was a she was a seamstress so I don't know if she's got fabric I am um, she had a garage sale with some friends a couple of years ago and um, I got a bunch of laces and trims at her garage sale oh that's cute okay so that was fun. I wanted to try that. Was there anything else? Oh, I do know. There was one other thing I wanted to try. Let's see if it's back here. So when I printed my latest digitals, I was kind of an airhead. Here it is. And printed it with the CT designs on it. But I was thinking it would be cute to put this little guy on here. So we're gonna we're gonna work with that a little bit. See what we can do. I was like, oh my god, Gail printed it with maybe. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go with the top. It's a good bit. And then it's awfully quiet. I think my husband might have left. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe about right 
there, I'm thinking. Oh, that was a little skinny, but that's okay. It's all right to have some edge because, of course, you know, I will go ahead and give that a little inking. But let's do... Maybe up a little bit so a little more of his shoes show. Okay. And then I'm just going to... I'm just going to do this and we'll decorate the bottom somehow. Yeah, these these things worth going through my mind too besides what am I going to bring? I was I was making I was making decorated sacks in my sleep too. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm my own worst enemy sometimes. So these little cabinet cards are in my Etsy. I should probably say that. Put on the the businesswoman's hat and say that these are available in my Etsy. Cinnamon tea. I always put it down in the description box. Um. Yeah, I've got I've got so many other ideas for digitals too. Do you ever find there's just not? I mean, honestly, there are not enough hours in the day. I think when I was working, I just knew I couldn't get this, this, and this done. So I didn't, I didn't think about it. But I mean, since I retired, I'm just like, I really thought I would just be moseying along through my days, but nope. Okay, so let's see what's in here. That, we got that. I wanted to get some of these bits used that this okay wow that's not as I, I didn't have it quite as much as i thought oh i love that oh here's some here's some i i hit the mother load <laughs> of digital leftovers Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here they all are. Okay. Okay. So let's play with a few of these on one or two. And then how we doing time-wise? Oh, man. It's one of those that's flying by. Oh, my gosh. You guys, I need a chair with new rollers. I need a bigger craft room. I need a chair with new rollers <laughs> oh my goodness look at that AOZA that is perfect it's a little thin but that's okay like we said I'm gonna just do that with scissors so that I can preserve as much as possible and you notice I'm not inking so I'm not taking time doing that I'm so envious of of not inking because it does take a lot of time so, but, you know, you gotta like how the, how it looks in the end too. And I am always happier if it's inked up a little bit. So we can do that later though. We can do it off camera even. Um, Ooh, that's good. This, I think, is antique papery, I believe. I've got this one on my finger. You're probably wondering, what is she doing with that piece of paper on her finger? Well, I'm going to use it, I think. So, I'm going to put this down. middle okay okay let's use up a few more if we can Ooh, that's a pretty one isn't it can we yeah and yahoo it's like the perfect size let's 
do this. Yes, great way to use up scraps. Well, I purchased some more digis last night, so I'll be playing with those. I went over to Artsology, Deb, my friend Deb, and we're gonna have a play with those. And then had another gal, which I, her Etsy shop name is a little bit um, complicated, so I can't tell you what it is right off the top of my head, but she, um, sent me some of her digitals so we'll have a play with those too so yeah so that'll be fun okay do I want that like that I want it like this okay all right well we have a ton of them here so I'm in a Put these back in the scrap bin and I'll use those on another day. Let's get this out of our way for now. I'm just going to set it up here on top of a whole bunch of other stuff. Alrighty then, look at all these bags we have to do. So fun. But I want to do the one that is going to go in the book I'm working on first. Okay, so I had an idea for the tag, which I for sure want to get into this video. So, um, my Artie Mays leftovers. I'm going to look at those because I think, yes, I have some of these big tags and they'll be nice in there. They need to be cut down some, which is okay. Let me just do that. We need to be able to fit it in. Okay, let's put that back there. And then let's see if I can even that up a little bit. I hate to lose any of that design, but it needs to fit in the sack. Maybe a little bit, it's a little bit, a little bit too wide yet. That should do it. Yeah, so then that can go in the bag. Might have to chop it down a little. How tall is that? It's eight. So it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. Okay, so here was my idea though. I wanted to take that and dig under here to Addie's Digitals. And I wanted the coffee dyed one. And I want to take one of these and put it here. Garden Blessing. I think that's the one. I like the pink. right there. Ooh, I love that. Isn't that cute? Like that? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And I'll probably this this bag and this tag I will definitely give it some um distress ink around it, but okay, so this will be good 
another piece of ephemera. And this one's actually a pocket too. So that's always good. Okay. So put it kind of right there, I think. Make sure it's straight. Oh my gosh, that is cute. Okay. And then I'll probably put some lace on the top. Let me grab my, this is my bucket of, you have to use this lace before you use any other lace. And I think I have some, I kind of want a little bit thicker of lace, but, ooh, what about maybe some fabric? little fabric topper. Yep, I like that. That is awesome. I'm covering up the hole that's in the original tag. I'm just going to use my tiny attacher. Attach that. All right, then. Okay, so that makes me happy. I got the big tag done. Yeah, that's cute. I think if I go in the back, it'll go slide all the way down with no hindrance. Yep, that's what I need to do. I need to go to the back like that. So that'll be there. Um, this little pocket is always good for, like, tickets and things like that. So, let's use this one. I think we'll use this one. Maybe we'll use a couple of them. You know, I am trying to use some things up. I said to myself prior to ordering <laughs> stuff from Deb at Artsology, I said to myself, you need to use up what you have before you get anything new. Yeah, right. Then I see a pretty and it's like I just end up doing it. Okay, so we could do that. Um, and then... I kind of want something, I don't know what I want in the back, but I'm going to leave this, I think. I mean, normally I would do a little bit of extra, but I really like, I really like that rose there. But what about a label for here? Oh, I can show you. I got my new ephemera book. I got all the sticky labels in here. So, yeah, I got sticky labels, got my mushrooms, I got label, label, labels, I got doilies, I got these sticky labels, this is where butterflies are going to live, and then I got all of my trims in the back. So, this book is on its way. Um, I'm looking at looking at this one that's nice that's nice okay we're gonna do that so all my sticky bits are in there and my other one is um is non-sticky i mean it's just regular paper i'm gonna i am gonna do this on this one before I stick it down. Everything else I can ink afterwards. Okay. So let's see how these sticky labels work. Probably going to have a heck of a time getting them off. No, not at all. That's super easy. Oh, that's just great. 
just great. Okay, I'm going to put that there. That is a Roxy Creations label. And I may want one more tag in there. And then I will, I will go ahead and let me get up and show you this. And it's got its little tag in the back there. So really, I've got this tag in, as you can see, I've got it in the back. You could actually put something in the front if you wanted to, too, and really load this up. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do with this, and then we'll have it to be inked, is I'm going to run a bead of glue right here. And right here. And that will be a pocket. Will be a pocket. So excited. One done. But aren't those fun? They're just they're just fun. And now when I put this on my page, just probably more for newbies than than anything. But um when I put it on my page, I could glue around this way. And I could slip something behind here, or I can go this way and then have another pocket behind, actually behind the sack. So, so there you go. So I think I want to trim this a tiny bit. It's just hanging over a little. Okay, there's that one. Woohoo! That one done. Okay, so I wanted to do one where. I just kind of had a background like this one. Let's do this one. So that's really dark. I feel like I want something to lighten that up a little. What about, let me go over here and grab um, like A doily. That's like perfect size too, isn't it? Okay. I don't know. I'm just I'm just kind of playing. I think what I will do though is oops, is um just wrap that around because it doesn't matter. It's uh not going to show anyways. Didn't quite get out far enough. Ah. are a challenge to put on but they always look good <laughs> okay okay all right so we have that um what would we like to put on that? Hmm. I don't know. This one's stumping me a little bit. Um, I just cut out this morning. I was talking on the telephone and cutting. <laughs> oh, my daughter called. That guy there. Mm. Um, I don't know. It's the black and gold. It's just not usual, but it would be good for boho, wouldn't it? So let's let's think about that. Let's think about boho for a second. What about I have? 
in my trims. Oops, that came off. Yeah, this the the page protectors worked great on this, except that it doesn't really stick great. I have to tell you. The um, I used vellum in my other one, and it was much better. So I might have to just run these through my sewing machine along the edge here. And where I put the washi worked really well. So I don't know. Anyway, that's for another day. Let's think about this. You... And that's covering up all the black, isn't it? Maybe need something a little thinner. Kind of like that, just across there. I have, um, I have some gold stuff. In my Christmas stuff, I think is where it is that I could put behind it, but almost get that straight. But I think I might put that there. It's just the focal point that has me stumped. Well, let's not sit here and think about it forever. Um, my next video, I'll show you. If I've made any progress on any of these, I'll show you what I've done. How about that? Okay. This one's cute just as it is, isn't it? It just needs something right here. Um, but I have stuff in my farm bucket that I can look at for that. So I'm not going to work on that one. Um, let's do this little guy. He's He's kind of... It's kind of fun. The only thing I think I might want something right here. And I think I might want a little bit of lace right there. Yep. That's what I want right there. Okay. to the end of my fabric tack here. Um, and thinking about what do I want at the top there. That's cute. Okay, and there. I want something vintagey looking, don't I? <laughs> I wonder if I have a stamp that's big enough, like a stamp or I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I have brown stamps because I don't think I want too much color. So I just got to, oh, look at these. I got these in Happy Mail. These are cool. Yep. Yep. Thank you my happy mail person that sent me these you guys I apologize that I can't always remember who gave me every piece I as you know at times I'll get five boxes in a day and so you know weeks down the line to remember who gave me what just it doesn't happen very often usually just if the person has a really distinctive style you know what I want to do? Somebody asked me, you save all of your, you save all of your strings from making your fabric flips. What do you do with them? Well, this is what I do with them. Just put them behind things. I think I better put a little more. Yep. Put a little more fabric tack right there for that string. And I'm just going to put that on. And then I'm going to put this on top.
and it just gives it that much more texture. Oh my gosh, that is cute. That's turned out cute. I'm thinking, do I need something at the bottom before I'm done here? <laughs> yep, I think so. Just had that little piece of coffee dyeing, which was fine, but I think it will look better if it's got a little, got a little something else on it. A little under that too. It was peeking up on the corner. Oh, that one. I love that one. So there's that one. And um, I'm, I'm going to glue this, of course, but I think I'll wait so I can distress this edge. So the this one will be distressed. Oh my gosh, we're at the end of our hour. Okay, well, I feel like we got some stuff done, though. Okay, so we have this one almost completed. <laughs> this one almost completed. And, you know, you don't have to do the inside stuff until you're ready to do your book. Like this one, I know what I'm working with, right? So just to have this base is really nice. And then this one I'll figure out and show you later. And then we have bases for how many more? We have one, two, three. We've got seven more bases. So we've got the book page. We've got, this is antique papery. AOZA, little antique papery. This is the pattern. And some just paper and stationery and the farmer. So there we go. I think I think we're going to call that a video, but thanks everybody so much, so much for hanging out with me while I decorated bags. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.